<laughs> this is a circuit being designed for Texas Instruments Analog Design Contest. Mm. We had used analogs, this ASLV kit, analog systems, analog lab starter kit, uh, in which we had used Texas Instruments OPAM OPA4277. Um, uh, this used entirely analog components uh, using resistors and all these are filters and the component over here is RF booster pack transceiver pronounced before that uh, this is the circuit setup for the tree theft control system so what it basically does is that uh, whenever an illegal tree cutter approaches the tree with its cutter on then uh, the, there will be a circuit embedded in the tree which would be like a small uh, surface mount circuits which will be embedded inside in the form of a nail which could be pierced onto this tree and then uh, when this cutter sound is detected then what it, what it does is that it normally communicates with other trees which has those uh, which has this embedded circuit like nail in it and then it will send ok signal but if it detects the cutter sound or any vibrations then it detects uh, as a danger and sends to nearby trees as a danger and then it passes on to the main hub okay so basic circuit explanation uh, this is uh, imagine this as a i mean what to say being integrated onto a tree okay so what we do is that we just use those surface mount components and will be put in the form of a nail and it can be struck in the tree without any damage now uh, this part will be the hub hub of the uh, where it receives that signal whether a danger or not it will be near to the forest guard's uh, room or something like that and he can receive the status whether everything is okay or if any tree number is missing or something like that or is in danger so i mean about the circuit uh, this part what it actually does is that there will be a vibration sensor this vibration sensor can detect both sound this is a capacitor microphone it will detect the sound and also the vibrations coming in it uh, one part of it as a vibration sensor it goes on to a magnitude comparator and then it goes on to magnitude comparator using an op-amp, a Texas Instruments op-amp and then it pulls a, a calls an interrupt in the uh, MSP430 which is being embedded here. Top portion is the RF booster pack transceiver. It, it normally sends, what to say, normally sends uh, OK signals and receives OK signals from the nearby trees and then to the hub. Uh, when it gets this interrupt of um, the capacity microphone uh, the vibration sensor then it sends off a signal that something is wrong like a danger signal to the hub and then the hub receives this and gives an alarm to the forest car now the same microphone you can see the circuit over here this is a filter circuit which includes a band pass and a band stop the band pass is of 200 hertz and 30 hertz and the band stop is of 30 uh, 200 hertz and uh, what it does is that we have found by taking the FFT of the cutter sound that you know, using MATLAB, the frequency really falls around the region of 200 hertz. Now, uh, this output of the fil um, capacitor microphone will pass on to this analog filter, uh, analog filter using resistor but active, and then will go on to the uh, if the what to say 200 hertz or 30 hertz frequency is detected of the cutters, then this will go on to the MSP430 circuit and then in the same manner as, ex as explained move on to the transceiver and will send as a circuit uh, dangerous as a danger signal uh, this communication between the transceiver and MSP430 is using SPI protocol uh, the MSP430 acts as a master this transceiver will normally act as slaves and uh, sending off uh, during each positive peak a uh, positive edge the MSP430 sends the signal as OK OK but when it senses dangerous automatically uh, calls an interrupt and uh, tells it danger to the nearby hub see we are going for the demonstration of this project now this capacitor microphone will act as the input uh, if we shake this and a long time we if we shake this first there will be no sensing of the tree cutting if you do both chainsaw cutting and the shaking there will be light display. Now this has been shaked down. And see, right now it is being detected as a tree cutting. And once we remove the sound also, the uh, LED will indic indicate as an indicator of that particular tree is missing. I mean, in this case, this whole tree 
is missing or it is being under attack or something like that and then this LED forest guard will see this and he can take preventive measures on that now the previous circuit was uh, ex experiment was worked on this this capacitor microphone will act as both the shake sensor and also a sound detector now uh, the parallel circuit is the shake sensor which is being amplified by a transistor BC546 and then uh, this moves on to the uh, MSP430 for giving as an interrupt. Uh, this will be AND gate or ANDed with the same sound sound sensor. Now this capacitor will provide the sound signal to the active uh, RC filters. Now this op-amp is used here is OPA4277. Uh, now this will filter off frequencies of 30 hertz and 200 hertz uh, we, which will uh, we had earlier found out using FFT of the given signal as well as to filter out the signal of uh, sound of the cutter and then we'll give off the interrupt and this part acts as the tree and it will give off danger signal to this uh, hub which will be act as a master receiver or something like uh, something and then uh, this and the MSP430 used here is MSP430G2553 uh, which is our main microcontroller I mean it's under this RF booster pack over here, uh, and then uh, we are using launch, pass, launch pad as the development board and ASLV kit, analog starter lab kit, um, and this portion, uh, the power is being provided by the computer over here, and just for taking the plus VCC, and that's all.